Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this is By The Farm. Today, we're breaking up. Okay, so we're not breaking up, uh, not Mr J and I. Uh, we're going to be breaking up a whole load of pallets, uh, stripping them down, taking the useful wood off them and then putting what we can't use easily uh, into the piggery, uh, ready to be cut up for winter firewood. There are two reasons uh, that I want to tackle this lot today. Uh, one is, well, it really needs doing, uh, and I want to get it inside uh, into the dry uh, before the winter rain comes. And the other reason is uh, we're having a visitor tomorrow. Tony from uh, UK Here We Grow uh, is popping over uh, to have a cuppa and uh, have a little look around. So I want to tidy up this area a little bit uh, so it looks less like a work site uh, and more like a work in progress. Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyway, this is what I'm going to tackle today. Well, it's now the next morning and uh, as you can see behind me uh, we didn't get very many pallets done we got i think i would split down four maybe three and a half uh, but we just got really tired and i know it'd be lovely uh, to click my fingers and it magically all to be done i'm a realist that uh, i know i can only do so much in one day before i flump and given that uh, today uh, we've got a friend coming to see us uh, it seemed like a good idea not to completely wear myself out but these will get done over the next few weeks uh, before the autumn rains really set in and, and that will be okay. This morning uh, while I was putting the ducks uh, food and water out and getting the birds up and all of those things I noticed that down uh, with the Ujiri Kiri squashes the ones that were growing uh, over the pallets uh, that I'd set into a triangle or into a pyramid anyway <laughs> one of them had grown uh, through the pallet and got squashed squashed the squash was squashed uh, in the in the gaps in the pallet uh, <laughs> it is actually uh, jammed it's grown in between the pallet uh, so there's a, a bulbous bit here and a bulbous bit on the other side so we're gonna have to slice down it to uh, get it off but you can see uh, the birds have been pecking at it so I want to get this uh, so I can eat the inside of it before they uh, break right through the skin into the flesh uh, um, then I wouldn't want to eat it. So I really think uh, today uh, we're going to have to take that out of the pallet. You know the other thing I've noticed is that when we've got friends coming to visit uh, that's the time when I look uh, look around our homestead with a slightly different well, different set of glasses, different different eyes, I don't know what the right phrase is. And that's the time uh, when I notice how much I've just kind of dumped in corners. You know, I've put things down thinking, oh, I'll, I'll take that with me when I go uh, back to the greenhouse or back to the piggery or something. Uh, and then I haven't picked it up. Uh, so uh, what I did do yesterday and this morning was to walk around, just pick up some of those things uh, that i just been lying around. Do you do this? Do, am I the only person who just kind of dumps stuff down thinking oh, I'll take that on my way uh, rather than doing a separate journey and then just never pick it up? I can't be the only one who does that. 
Anyway, so <laughs> it turns out uh, the annual vegetable garden, the food forest, uh, the area around Big Whitesfield and pretty much everywhere on our homestead uh, has got bags of stuff or bits and pieces that I've put down, uh, meaning to put away. So I think for the rest of this year, I might set myself the challenge of instead of just dumping stuff down uh, to take with me at a later moment, I actually take it there and then and put it away. And it'll be interesting to see uh, in spring uh, when I come back out and spend uh, a considerable amount of time in the garden, uh, just how much clearer it is, or it may be, <laughs> than it would have been otherwise. Hello, Monty. Meow. Hello. You're coming up to say hello, are you? Here he is. It's the boy. You all right, lovely? Oh, yes. You going to say hello to everybody? Well, that's it for me today. I I'm heading inside, <laughs> probably with my furry friend here. Um, I'm going to have a cup of tea. What are you going to have? Not tea, hey? Eh? Some bickies? Yes. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again tomorrow. Come on, boy.